All right, so how, how long have we been doing our tennis coaching for, James? Oh, I think about probably six weeks. About six, six weeks, eight weeks with the holidays? Oh, yeah, all right. So, um, first things that we, we need to do with the uh, hitting of the ball or doing our forehands and backhands is we need to just always go back to the swing pattern. So the ready positions, all right, and the one, two, three. Okay, and remembering that that left arm is there for balance as well. So one, two, three. All right, so just doing the four hands to start with, James. All right, so racket in the middle to start with. Okay, one, two, three. That's it. And again, nice and relaxed. Hands out, two, three. So this is more difficult because there's multiple movements and coordinations and the ball, exactly. That's it right there. One, two, three. Can you use that left hand for me for a little bit of balance, James? So, hands out. Yeah, two, three. That's exactly right. Onto the backhand side now, James. Two, three. Good. And one, two. That's right. Over this way, James. Yes. This is like a. This is. This is yeah. This is a mirror image, James. All right. Even though you're much better looking and you're, you've got a much better personality than me, you know that I'm a nasty person at heart. Yes, yes you know that, don't you? <laughs> All right, so let's do our forehand first. Two, three, that's it, that's it. And. <laughs> I'm going to edit that out, you know that, James. <laughs> Two, three. All right, let's hit some balls. What do you think? All right, let's go. All right, so remember, nice, easy swings. Here we go. Two, three, that's it. Two, three, good. And you see how much more control you have, James, when you're nice and relaxed with your swings? Oh, we've lost our hat. Do you want to grab your hat, James? I, I know, it's, it's terrible these days, isn't it? One, two, three, good. One, two, three, very good. Two, three. Oh, that's just getting too easy for you, James. I'm going to have to start making you run a little bit further. Good, that's it. And one, two, three, and back to the middle. Good. Two, three. And what normally happens here is James starts to try and hit me. As soon as I make him run too much, then it, the balls. Oh, he's anticipating the wrong side now. All right, so your normal forehand and backhand, if I just go left and right, it's just too easy for you now, James. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have two balls, one in each hand. Uh, and you know how this works. And you have to react a bit quicker, don't you? So if you want to react a bit quicker, let's make sure that those knees are bent. All right, and you're ready to move quickly. Ready position, so the racket's in the front. All right, balls in my hand. Here we go. Go. Very good, and again. Good. Good. Yeah, you're gonna have to move those feet of yours. Ready? Racket in the middle to start with. Keeping your balance. Good. Up you come. Let's go. Very good, and returning to the middle. That's it. Ready? Very good. And that's it. Nice side steps. Oh, you're going to have to be quick there, James. Good. Very good. That's it. And one, two, three. Very good. Two, three. Good, James. Very good. Oh, he took that one a bit easy, James, I think. All right, now, I want you to concentrate on your forehand with just getting that racket up a little bit higher, James, all right? Very good. Here we go. So give me a perfect forehand swing, ready? 
You call that perfect? This is not our first lesson, James. When I ask for perfect, I want perfect swing. All right, and I know you can do it because I've seen it a hundred times. You ready? So, and one, two, three. Not bad, not bad. All right, I'll give you a seven out of 10 for that. I'm sure you can do better though. Where do I need you to finish your swing, James? There you go, there you go. All right, here we go. There we go, and nice and relaxed with the muscles. There it is, good. All right, now we're gonna be moving around a bit more. So, rack it up a little higher. All right, up you come, James, let's go. Good, and back you go. That's it. Good, so what I'm doing now is I'm changing the length, changing the length, and I'm also changing the trajectory or the height of the ball. So, you, with the wind, you've got to calculate where you have to move to, but nothing changes in terms of your one, two, three. Those are always the steps you have to take, okay? All right, so. Very good, very good. And again. Yeah. Good. And what do you do with that one, James? Excellent. Very good. Good. That's it, James. Good. And yeah, very good. Your movement is very nice. Remember the one, two, three, so the hands on the wall to start with, and then the movement. Good. Very nice. Good. So this is an exercise that I do with James uh, regularly. It's um, James's uh, left hand side is the side that um, is not getting the messages properly. So we always try and involve uh, uh, the non-favoured side and the, the favoured side so that the coordination increases on both sides. So let's get the rackets up like this. Uh, the rackets in, in the front. Good. Let's move back a little bit. Uh, now James also has to coordinate his feet with the movement. <laughs> and this is, this is what I always find intriguing. All right. Uh, are you ready, James? Uh, you think so? All right. So remember soft hands. All right? We don't want to be tensing up too tight. We want nice soft hands. Okay. That's it. Good. That's it. All right. Now I want you to get the proper feet moving. So with the forehand volley, which foot do you move? There you go, good. And the backhand, that's it, good. Ready, forehand, there we go, now relax your body, James. Take a breath, and good. So let's get that, get that hand and the racket face pushing towards me. I don't want it going down, let's go straight out, like a high five, that's it, good. Ready? All right, well show me which one's the right foot, there we go. Ah, uh -huh, that's shooting, James. Come on, I want that left hand working. There it is, good. Very good. No, that's shooting again. Come on, come forward a little bit. Um, there we go, and again. There it is, good. That's all right. Yeah, so line it up. Let's keep that racket face up high. Very good. There you go, James. Good, <laughs> some fast footwork there. Very good. All right, so balance back to the back to the middle and nicely balanced. Good. Good. All right, so nice and easy. Yeah, just move that ball. It's gone. All right. Good. Okay, so let's try again. Remember, we're moving forward. Come here with that racket for a sec, James. All right, let's get the thumb wrapped around. Now, most of the time what's happening is this is happening. All right, now I want you to push that racket against my hand, please. Good, good. And that racket against my hand, good, good. Now I want you to do it with the footwork, please. Yeah, wait a second, move back a little bit. Good, now do it with the footwork. Now look at the racket face. That's it, and let's get that up a little bit. Release your arm a little bit, okay? If the ball's lower, James, 
what do we do? Do we do this? Or do we do exactly? All right? Then we lower ourselves with our legs. Instead of going, oh, there's the ball. There's the ball. All right? So. All right. That's it. Here we go. And very good, James. There you go. You were anticipating then, James. I saw that. Good. All right. Now I'm going to have to make it a bit more difficult for you. All right. So one of the balls is going to come your way. Oh, yes. There we go. Good. Ball's gone. It's okay. That's it. Good. Very good. Very good. All right. Three or four more. And Good, James. That's all right. We're going to get the messages there very quickly now. Good. Very good. All right. Last six balls for this exercise. All right, let's see how we go. Ready? Good. Good. That's it. Now you're getting better. Oh, I can't trick you now. <laughs> All right, so James again, that's excellent. All right, now I think it's time for us to uh, to do some rallying. All right, let's grab some balls up. All right, James, come over here for a second, please. All right, now since uh, since we got our forehands and backhands and movement going. Um, when did we start rallying? About three or four weeks ago we started trying uh, to get some rallies? Say, about three weeks ago. All right, so we have a lesson once, uh, once a week, mm -hmm. uh, 45 minutes to an hour. Yeah. And um, what is our uh, rally record at the moment? Well, I think it's 49. That's my record. 49. Which is, which you say a lot of people find hard to reach and get much in. A lot of people do. Uh, well, we'll see how we go today. Yeah. All right, it's all about controlling the ball and not hitting it too hard, isn't it? All right, let's see how we go. All right, come forward a little bit, James. We'll keep the power down to start with, so come forward. Here we go. One, two, three. Forty. Oh, forty-eight. <laughs> all right, James. But let's not forget. All right, let's not forget. That's our. That was our first rally. Yes. All right. So have we used up all our concentration, uh, stamina, and uh, and skills at the moment? I don't think so. I don't, I don't think so. All right, so that was our first rally. All right, now let's have another one. All right, all right. And let's just keep those concentration skills and focus going. All right, ready? One, two, three. One, two, three. Ten. Oh, that's not nice. <laughs> I think that's twenty. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, 
27. All right, let's go again. All right, take some deep breaths. So in between rallies, we have about 25 seconds that we can use. All right, let's get some air in those lungs again, some oxygen to the muscles and relax the muscles, okay? All right, so this is our third rally now. Ready position. Remember how we get back to the middle with our side stepping? That's it, that's it. All right, here we go. Okay, so relax a little bit, a little bit tense. Okay, when you tense, what happens? That ball explodes off the racket and we lose control. So relax your muscles. That's it. All right, last try. Ten. Very good. Twenty. Thirty. That's a bit too far for me. <laughs> All right, so my calculations are right. We probably we probably did with f four balls, yeah. something like 115, 120 uh, shots yeah. with only four balls. All right, that's telling me, um, James, that your focus and your concentration skills and this are, are just continuing to get better and better. Yeah, when we started. We one or two balls, right. and with very very little little, um, I would say training. Yes. Uh, an hour a week is not a lot of training, huh? No, no. We, uh, we now that Sheila's sort of uh, appreciate, we can sit down and play each other more. Yes, uh, Sheila's not quite proficient yet at tennis, but we're working on her forehand, aren't we? Yeah. All right, mate. Thank yeah. you very much for the lesson. Thank All right, you. I will show you the video so you can have it as well, but it'll give me a good baseline. To know okay this is where we're at all right and in six weeks or eight weeks I can go back and go ah all right this area needs to be improved this area we've taken some big steps forward with all right those exercises are working those we should move on from okay thank you very much mate you can see me just I just bring